Hello everyone, I've been coming to the Asmara International Airport to receive vaccines for the last three years, almost about twice a year. Um, it gives me immense pleasure um, to receive these vaccines because I believe um, vaccines is about saving lives. And behind every vial or vaccine doses are the hundreds and thousands of uh, children um, and pregnant women and their smiles that gives me the remarkable um, uh, drive to to actually come and receive these vaccines. Today, the second vaccine shipment for this year, 2022, has arrived, containing about over 1.6 million doses of 10 different types of vaccines. Um, this would uh, approximately cover 200,000 under two years of children, providing them um, immunity against 12 vaccine-preventable diseases. I'm told that uh, this shipment would cover close to about nine months of the total routine vaccine needs. What is special about today's vaccination shipment is also about we receiving for the first time ever close to about 772,000 doses of HPV vaccines, popularly known as human papilloma virus, which, is, um, which would cover the approximately 300,000 adolescent girls aged between 9 and 14 years who will receive two doses of HPV vaccine in the gap of uh, six months starting November this year followed up by June uh, next year in 2023. The HPV vaccine actually provides immunity, lifelong immunity against cervical cancer. So the total cost of the vaccine that we've received today is approximately about 4 million US dollar, co-financed by the government of the state of Eritrea, the Gavi Alliance and UNICEF. Um, as we all know about the stellar performance on routine immunization in Eritrea is about above 95% full vaccination coverage among children aged 24 to 35 months old for the last five years. We believe that we are able to reach out uh, to the 16 hard to reach areas districts in Zobas in the four regions um, and uh, continue to provide uh, routine immunization services to under two years of a children, eligible women, including pregnant women. We're extremely thankful to the government of the state of Eritrea, Ministry of Health, and particularly to the UPI unit for the relentless service cooperation and efforts in ensuring that no child is left behind. Thank you.